Hi viewers, this is Srinivas Reddy. Um, today I am going to talk about uh, the decision making, how important the decision making in one's life and uh, what are the you know different ways and means consequences and you know how that's really makes a uh, difference in one's life like and what is the right approach uh, if one think of like you know when you are making a decision so today i have with me abhinav hey guys uh, abhinav is a you know student and i consider him a youth like you know and uh, uh, we are going to talk about like you know how the decisions like you know impacts his life you know i'll i'll walk through uh, about this process and you know the decisions one makes especially i'm interested about you know youth yeah so let let's you know start uh, the discussion with abhinav hi abhinav yeah how are you today i'm good how are you yeah i'm good excellent so abhinav i mean can you you know Uh, tell me brief about you yeah before we get into you know the topic okay so hey everyone i am abhinav as you all know and uh, i'm an 18 year old who uh, finished his 12th grade in uh, 2019 which is last year and uh, after which i have uh, taken a gap year actually like uh, i as i am actually an aspiring entrepreneur and a techie so what i did was in that gap year i wanted to pursue my passion towards entrepreneurship and work on my uh, startup ideas and uh, alongside build industrial skills so i learned something like full stack web app development uh, for like about 4 months um, and i even fiddled around a bit with blockchain technology you know a bunch of stuff and then uh, i dropped it all of a sudden after a while because uh it was getting kind of too overwhelming for me and uh, i decided to go to college and that was in paris so i started i applied for college uh in around uh, november i think last year and i got in and i left to college in ja- on january 19 of 2020 uh to the american business school of paris and uh, here i am because of the pandemic as as you all know uh i'm back here with uh, srinivas reddy discuss about how i have regretted a few of my decisions and how a decision some of the decisions which i've made are you know have influenced my outlook on things so you can see now we walk you know yeah see. that's excellent i think you know that really reveals you know a lot of things about you if i take like nice we are talking about decision making uh, you made you know such uh, risky decisions i don't see the youth like you know, gap here something interesting indeed you know i'm interested to know how that is really makes a difference in one's life or you know the students is that really worth of taking it i'm interested but uh, uh, before that uh, something like you no know, you have taken consequently like you no know, different decisions like you, know, you kept on is it something like you no know, the choices one's choices one's uh, decisions how that really it matters can you give one example in recent past the decision you made uh and do you feel like no it's went wrong or bad okay um well as i stated before um we're going to talk about some of the decisions which i regret and uh, some of the decisions which i feel are bad so well one of the most recent decisions would be of me going to college right i mean as i stated before i was supposed to finish my gap year and work on tech maybe uh, work on my startup too but then uh, the process was stopped midway because i felt uh, discontent and overwhelmed because i was swaying away from the normal society's way of doing things which is go to college and as he stated it's a risky way of doing things and i realized that and it, it wasn't just that you know like by doing stuff all alone and like doing it completely by myself i was way too streamlined i was it was me waking up in the morning going to my boot camp learning tech coming back home and just sleeping and it was getting kind of tiresome right and uh, i think right after that i was not in a good state of mind i was frustrated because i wasn't working up to full efficiency because i felt discontent i was like even though i was passionate about it i 
I was discontent because I wasn't balancing things out. I was working and working and working right on that and I was frustrated. So in that frustration, I took a rash decision. I thought that by going to college, maybe I will be able to, you know, experience that so-called social life, the social high which uh, the youth usually loves. And uh, I thought maybe I can, you know, get back in the system again and maybe have some fun and at the same time access a community which could help me in my startups. But uh, so, as I said, I did go there. So I, I went there and... Uh, um, I stayed there for two months, to be precise, and it was going good. I learned a lot of things. I was living there all by myself, alone, in a different apartment. Um, I learned how to live independently. I learned a whole bunch of things about French culture in Paris, and uh, I met a whole bunch of new people. But it struck me then. I was suddenly I was like, wait. As you all know, I mean, foreign education is not uh, cheap, right? And especially Paris. So think about it. I was like, I'm investing so much in college, but am I really getting what I want? Right? Am I uh, being able to, uh, you know, actually pursue my passions over there? Uh, is this a wrong decision? Like, is coming to Paris a wrong thing to do? Was it all a mistake? Because, I mean, come on, I'll give you a round. 15 lakhs in a year just for a college which will teach you a generalized uh, different generalized subjects in the hope that you may find something which you may like and then you'll pursue right that's the point of college but my question was I already knew what I wanted right so why did I go to college and it, it just started getting really overwhelming all of a sudden yeah, so that's, that's one of the decisions I regret, I could say, in uh, crude terms. Yeah, that's something really insightful. Um, you made the decisions, yeah. And uh, what is that like, you know, if, we, if, if we'd have been in the upper street, like, you know, you are, if I understand, you are lead up your education, you took that mission, you were back from Paris, and uh, there was a lot of investment, a lot of exposure, experience, and a lot of things, like, you know, it's unfolding for you. Like, you know, what is that like, you know, if, when they ask, like, you know, if I had given the opportunity to make a decision again, right decision, what is that one decision you want to make, you know, at this point of time? Uh, to be straightforward, I think, as I said, I learned a lot of things in Paris yeah. during my time there. And one thing which I learned was that I needed to balance my lifestyle. You know, uh, being satisfactory to one's uh, decisions isn't just about achieving your goal. It's about feeling content uh, career-wise and also having those small happiness thrills which you get by hanging out with friends or playing tennis, working out, something, right? Which I clearly did not fulfill in the last year, right? So I think I would, my first goal would be to start pursuing those industrial skills which I picked up back then and start working on a startup again. Um, but this time, I'd like to balance it with something else, right? So that I have a good equilibrium and I don't, I don't get demotivated. Okay, right, good. And uh, I think like, you know, I've given that thing like, you know, we have the wonderful decision-making tool this this was about, um, which is, you know, wonderful approach, which really takes you through the you know different like you know from your problem statement to choices consequences and baselines like which are you rightly said like you know something which are um, connect to you like you know, to inner sense like what you like so what i understand from the conversation is not you're not regretted like you know, totally, but it's all like you know you are revealed your life like what exactly you wanted you nailed down what you exactly want in your yes. life yeah if understand that and also the the exercise what we did, like the decision making, which is so powerful, and which is so important, you know, for anyone for that matter to make decision, considering all the factors. And especially, I want to hear from you as a youth. What are those factors you think, like, you know, when you are making a decision at your age, you know, for the, you know, for the matter, like, you know, to understand for other people? You know? Um, I think. I mean, as you all know, since this, in this ever-changing world, there are numerous factors which are 
you know stemming up on a day to day basis and each of these factors from social media to a distant relative can influence a youth's mindsets and the way they make decisions right and i would definitely say i was influenced but the thing was back then i was under the assumption that you know i had a clear goal and mindset but to be honest i was under the pretense of you know having all having it all figured out i mean no one has it all figured out i'm sure even you guys don't everyone is in that phase who's still lost trying to find something and i was at the same thing but i was under the wrong pretense so i thought that oh i want to be an entrepreneur so why don't why do i have to go to college i'll just you know maybe do it my way i'll just go learn my own industrial skills from online uh, boot camps uh, short term courses and maybe i can like do it in a hit and trial method start investing in the uh, stock industry by learning a few things right yeah yeah so but at the same time uh this journey which i started i started questioning it because again factors started affecting me i was some factors such as uh <laughs> <laughs> well yeah. um according to your question um as you all know today's ever changing world there are a lot of factors which influence you in different ways can be as simple as a social media post to a distant relative commenting right so um, i won't say i mean i i was influenced but now even in a different way I'll, i'll tell you how so basically i thought i had a clear goal a clear mindset but i was under the pretext of having a clear goal. I mean as a child I had a dream I was like I want to be an entrepreneur right I want to work towards it it was just enthusiasm and going there I did not really account for you know such changes in my path like let's just say I was demotivated all of my what would happen right uh let's just say I didn't find a proper teammate to work on my business side what would happen let's just say I the entire plan didn't work out flopped what's going to happen right i didn't know the answers to that and uh, as i said but in the end i was kind of uh, i won't say i was still confused on where i want to be career wise i knew where i wanted to go but at the same time i still had a lot of unanswered questions and a lot of factors such as my parents my relatives are constantly suggesting me things like hey why do you go to i am why do you just write your exam and just you know go there right yeah i it did affect me i was like wait i, I was at that point when i was demotivated i started thinking about those factors i was like wait am i doing something wrong am i do i have to go to college like was i wrong and i started considering those factors and and yes i did go to college like a goal which was already set by me i was already walking towards there but just because the pace slowed down like the the pace at which i was going towards my goal slowed down because of me being demotivated or whatever it slowed down i started feeling discontent i was like maybe i'm doing things wrong right and i started considering other options so i changed my career path or my my path itself i was like no oh, why don't i consider going to college i'll maybe find a community find friends have a social high <coughs> right so yes there were a lot of factors affecting me those factors would be in common if i think about other youth or this is something specific to you you mean i think every person in the youth is being constantly affected by such factors but i don't think many of them are aware of such okay many people were even going to college nowadays if you ask them what is your end goal maybe they have a brief answer about how they are interested in becoming an artist a technician or whatever it may be but in reality for me after experiencing those two months i felt like it was an overpriced package deal right you never asked for it like i mean for a person who thought like you know who knew what they wanted imagine like giving them a whole bunch of options which you never asked for in collecting an overpriced amount right 
and I would call that a inefficient investment, right? I may learn a comp- bunch of things like life skills, living independently in a whole new world, but it is an inefficient investment because I don't think the returns are really proportionate to 15 lakhs, right? Yeah, yeah. So people do get affected, but people aren't aware of it. Yeah, that's what you rightly said. If I ask one question, I mean, for more conversation, do you really own your decisions or do you pass it to someone else or your parents? Or how do you think about like when you are making decisions? Or is, is it mix, mix, you know, you feel it as a collective decision or it's a, or then you own it or you pass it to someone, hey, this is someone's decision or it's not mine. What, how do you I think it? Uh, that's a really nice question to be honest because I think last year around this time, uh, I think that was the point where I started taking decisions for myself because before that point as I said I'm 18 last year my till that point my parents were the ones who were taking decisions for me right they were my caretakers they were my uh, guardians right they are but at that point when I started taking decisions uh, by myself I want to do a lot of things I mean imagine being a uh, given the post of a captain of your own ship like obviously you want to go to destinations you want to do this you want to do that you want to do every goddamn thing in the world you're confused right but so obviously there's a lot of confusion there's a lot of you're still scared because you just got promoted to being the captain and you're like whoa am i worthy of this place what if i screw it up what if i you know go to some goddamn island where my ship you know just sinks and it just becomes like the Titanic 2.0 and I'm screwed, <laughs> right? So I was, you know, scared. And, uh, but now, after actually going to Paris, I faced a lot of hard times too. I had a happy moments too. And now I think I'm finally not capable, but uh, willing to take the responsibility for each of my decisions. So, before, yes, they were influenced by my parents, a bit at least, right? Because I was still questioning myself about the college because when when I got demotivated, uh, a captain would, you know, take things in his own hand and be like, what to do now? But I didn't do that. I was like, hey guys, what should I do now? Do you think I should go to college? That's the first question I asked. That's the wrong question. That's that's a question which, it's, it's basically... I mean, you can seek for advice, but seeking for advice and taking rash decisions are two different things. I took rash decisions because I did not believe in my ability. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. so don't, don't you, you know, blame your parents for such, you know, rash decisions. It may, may not be like you. you know, I can't do that. It. I mean, think about it, man. Like, parents who are your guardians, all, all they wish for is your well-being. Right? I mean, they will propose things, the world proposes different kinds of things on a daily basis. They're like, I mean, even if a person is doing, I mean, come on, think about it. Jeff Bezos, he, he just donated 100 million for uh, the world uh, food funds. Like, right, I think you may be knowing. There are people who appreciate it and there are people who will, who will criticize it and be like, oh, just 100 million? And you earn billions and you're just giving 100 million? Whoa, get it? And I think parents do on the positive side do also give you suggestions and it's your responsibility to analyze and see what's good for you what's bad for you yeah and slowly take it and on. also something interesting like you know when what do you think about like you know for the youth especially is there any such right age a right time like you no know, when a student i, I mean a, a person starts like you no know, making taking or uh, you know uh, that responsibility or in in, in the in, in terms of decision making is there any such thing you feel or um as i understand from you like you said like now having gone through that sort of you know, experience uh, maturity exposure then you realized a lot of things you learned a lot in terms of how the decisions go wrong right right left whatever 
um, now you are at point like no it looks to me from the conversation um, you are on the right path and as we discussed about like no decision making process like no, how the factors are is there any such thing to advise to the youth like no? um, what is the right age is there any right time right age when we can our parents can leave it like no, my, my my son or my kids can start like um, making decisions I don't think there's ever a right age because to be honest uh, just yesterday I was still confused you know I was still confused of whether or not I should go back to you know continuing my degree in Paris or should I drop out and continue my, you know, uh, learning my industrial skills and maybe prepare for an examination in India itself or college like IIM? I was confused. And I think after doing that exercise which we did, yeah, I did get some clarity of Very thought. Good. Very good. Right? I was able to organize my thoughts in a better way. It did help me. So what I mean by this is no one is ever ready to... Just take on the wheel. Okay. People always need help to yeah. organize their thoughts. A captain always has a wingman, right? Right? Like who keeps on helping them out. And a captain all by himself is nothing, right? A captain is also never ready in the beginning. Right? No one is ever ready. And one thing which I'd like to tell the youth, if they're maybe going through a similar thing where they're confused and stuff, my suggestion is take it slow okay you guys don't have to worry you're still young and we all are young i'm young and even if you've walked on a certain path the benefits are you know what it is you've experienced it right maybe it's a wrong decision i mean that's the reason i said in the beginning i would call it a regret if it's in a crude way right but in a positive manner it has been a good change of events. I have changed over the past two months and it's a good thing. So you never know what kind of experiences change you and when do they change you. They just happen, right? So just sit back, take the wheel, take advice, don't take rash decisions, go slow. You always have the opportunity of, you know, changing your decision again when you have when you see the opportunity grab it that's what i did i came back to india because of the pandemic and i just felt like life was giving me a second opportunity at choosing you know reevaluating my decisions and giving me a second chance and i think life does this to everyone it's yeah. just about identifying such uh, uh, opportunities and making use of them and that's just what happened with me. Like, I'm making use of it. Excellent. Right? Yeah. And please don't, please, don't get me wrong, but I am still confused. Like, everyone is still confused. Everyone is still lost at a, at every point in life. Because every day is a new day. Right? You're walking into that day as a fresh person. Right? You have never experienced that day. So, it's okay to feel lost. It's just, at the end of the day, Please reevaluate your decisions and look at the consequences they are having on you and the people around you. This is one thing which I've learned through the exercise. Um, because, to be honest, as a person from the youth, you, you're usually more selfish. Not selfish, but more self-conceited. Right? You're, you're still early at living life and you'll be like, you will just think about yourself. Right? So think about all factors before changing your decision or making another decision or doing anything yeah that's fantastic no? and really amazing um, the way you have expo experience and the way you are giving like you no know, things but you know at the same time it looks to me like you no know, as a youth it's crazy like you know, going crazy but you know it's I mean I feel like you no know, it's good to be crazy rather than like you no know, um, not making any decision, not going in the direction what you want. End of the day, like, no, you are clear about your destination and uh, you are there. Okay, nice talking to you. That is, uh, you know, amazing, insightful and uh, enriching, I would say. Uh, by the way, guys, like, no, he is my son. Yeah, Abhinav. 
and uh, this is you know wonderful experience and this is how a parent you know should uh, you know talk to or to make a friend you know collaborate with his um, kids you know and see like you know how much difference you make and the way he is speaking and this is how we do it like you know day in day out like you know i become part of his uh, problem statements you know each and every time and we try to see like you know look at a problem as it's our collective problem and see like you know ways and means how we can have the right solution right decision that's what we tried and that's what we have been trying this is consistently constant you know um, effort constant you know process we, you know in everyone's life decision making is not so easy you go right wrong but end of the day how you take it is matters and uh, that's where um, thank you so much for your time and i just was asked like you know how you know how do you feel about it uh well as you said uh, he is my father and uh, i just want to tell you guys one thing like um if you have a son or daughter or whoever it may be in the youth just know one thing just like you even their individuals who are going through their own battles they have their own uh, problems they maybe for you it may seem insignificant but in reality they have their own uh, you know uh, emotions they have their own uh, feelings of discontent right just the other day i wasn't able to sleep because i i was in a pinch i was like wait uh, if i don't go back to college the money which i paid like 15 lakhs is going to be wasted like shit but then and uh, just to stop him here and uh, midnight he was so concerned confused and he went to his mother mid of the day you know mid- midnight sorry midnight and he woke up they were just talking crazy you know in the night for two hours i was wonder like in the morning he was sharing this experience with me he what went so that's something you know that's how like you no know, one should look at uh, as he rightly said the way just how... be open you know exactly. just just be open to them and yeah. just just give them a safe space for them yeah. to share because everyone is lost as i said exactly. even you are even i am everyone is lost in this yeah. you know weird crazy life so just have a conversation exactly as a parent like no you better you facilitate better you facilitate you see better results better you become guide better you become friend better you become part of your problem rather than like you know criticizing like you know give him consistent feedback you take the path like you know together so that's more important that gives good results there is no reason like you know one will not succeed if not today tomorrow wait for that you know day don't be in rush like noisy mentioned some of the decisions goes wrong but it's fine like you no know, but uh, the important point is how they are getting groomed how they are getting taking their you know this you know their path their life you know journey that's what our job is our responsibility to, to see and show like you know, they are on track of their journey sometimes they go here and there that doesn't matter uh, so that's that's all and uh, i hope you know you guys enjoyed this and i hope you know some of the guys will get beneficial ben- you guys benefit out of it and uh, we will try to come out more such you know Video. conversations real time live time conversations which really going to help you guys stay tuned thank you so much for your time